You know, just when you think Amber Heard reaches one level, she takes it up to another level. So I want to talk about her, you know, the children's hospital ordeal with her. Kind of funny in, not the not the uh, YouTube channel, but kind of funny and also almost a sick way, right? Because this is kind of the worst thing, one of the worst things I think you could find. I know I'm laughing and maybe that makes me a terrible person. Number one, I mean, I support children's hospitals and I hope, you know, all, all goes well there, right? I want, I want everybody to be healthy, everybody to be happy and all that stuff. Uh, you know, what she did there is a kind of laughable in, and again, kind of like this sadistic way because, again, she's painted as this great person. Even in Hollywood now, she's painted as, as this great person, as this victim, pretty much, of this, you know, thing that happened. I don't want to say the words between her and Johnny Depp, okay? And, you know, obviously, public opinion does not stand on her side. It's very, very, even if you don't like Johnny Depp, by the way, because I know there's some people that maybe don't. I don't know of anybody other than the just Amber Heard, like they, they're quote unquote Amber Heard fans on the internet that are, you know, pro her, okay? And once you think it can't get any worse for her, once you think that, okay, well, you know, we, we kind of sense that she could be lying about a lot of this stuff in the court cases and stuff like this. No, well, we find out that she basically, she didn't, you know, people are saying she stole, and even judging ba based off of how I title this, maybe I even said it myself. Okay, I'll title it after I record the video. But, you know, she didn't give them the money she had promised them. I... I mean, I guess you could consider that stealing. I feel like that's probably the, be the, the best word for it, right? I mean, how how messed up can you be? Um, now, okay, we don't know the specifics. We don't know, you know, the ins and outs. There's some people reporting that that money was supposed to be like Elon Musk's money that was going to go to the Children's Hospital. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. Remember, this was part of her and Johnny Depp's divorce settlement where a lot of money was supposed to go to the Children's Hospital, right? Three and a half million dollars almost. Now, I've seen in other places... I saw some place say seven million, so I guess the numbers are kind of all over the place. But by the way, by the way, because I know sometimes people in my community don't know uh, exactly, you know, don't they don't know everything. They don't know uh, every single thing that happens with this situation. So let me boil it down. So Amber Heard basically promised a children's hospital, I believe, three and a half million dollars, and she gave them one hundred thousand. Now, one hundred thousand is a lot. One hundred thousand is a good deed, okay? But when you promise them three and a half million and you give them one hundred thousand. Yes, that's a lot of money. Yes, that can do a lot of good. Yes, that's more than any of us could give in our entire lifetimes, okay? So you you, you have to say those things. But when you offer three and a half million and then you only give them, you know, <laughs> the very, very little percentage of that, uh, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I really don't know what to say about you because you lied and where did the money go, right? And, and so the hospital, and by the way, this is not like fake news. This isn't even like... TM because you would think like something a story like this you would kind of think you would hear on like a TMZ or some like you know paparazzi kind of thing no this is real the hospital actually wrote to her and asked her like basically where's the rest of the money like are you still gonna give it you said this was the first of many payments towards that full amount and you only gave us this so it's like a real thing the hospital actually responded to her so I mean Look, I, I, I want to take the angle with this video on how do you keep her around Aquaman. And, and, and really, again, I am not, I do want to make this clear because I think this is very important. And I have said this in past videos, but I really want to stress this. I'm not pro canceling anybody, including, by the way, like the social media stuff that's happened over the last couple of weeks. You let voices be voices and you let the truth and I guess public opinion kind of went out, okay? Censoring and and putting and canceling and putting things down, all that stuff, it only makes them stronger because you make people believe that you're silencing them for a reason, okay? Even like the Johnny Depp. Now, it's a little bit different for this. So like pro speech and something like that, it's different. For this, it's like, okay, well, you're firing Johnny Depp because you don't want backlash, but the fans are actually on his side pretty much overwhelmingly. Now, I guess there's no... Right now, there's no way of putting that in exact numbers, but I would argue, like, if you're Johnny Depp, you say, look at look at the social media stuff. Look at all the look at how often Justice for Johnny Depp pops up versus the Amber Heard stuff. Look at how much uh, the like Amber Heard is a liar pops up versus me. Look at how her shows do compared to shows maybe she did or movies she did before all this stuff happened. These are things if I'm Johnny Depp that I kind of would throw out there and be like, look. 
people like maybe I don't make as much money like I don't draw in as much as I used to maybe I I maybe I never will but like does Amber does Amber actually like is this hurting her do you know what I mean like is it going to like why would you keep her around and I'm not saying like he goes you know because you don't want to do that in fact remember he, he kind of did do that he tried to get her kicked out of uh, Aquaman funny enough but no I mean if you look at it in reality like how so you know it, it, the biggest thing that I always took there's a lot of things in that case in general that I feel like she's lying about but some of like the bruises stuff that like very much seem like kind of painted on and they disappeared from one day to the next that is very very sketchy there was a lot of I mean the fact that she admits things in in literally like recordings and she even says like you're a guy so nobody's gonna believe you because you're a guy and I'm a girl I mean these are kind of things that in the people in the real world not the UK judge who's like in fantasy land but like a real world person looks at that and says that's clearly like what somebody like in the wrong would be saying you can kind of like I would say kind of point out what uh the, maybe their lifestyle kind of is based off of those kind of like how she kind of acts how she kind of views herself in the world you know what I mean she views herself as a woman which means she's always right which means she's always um she's always in the right you know what I mean she's never going to be looked at in a negative way and if they do it's because she's a woman and that's wrong and that gives her power and those are kind of things you can infer based off what he literally caught her saying in recordings so you have those I mean, you have a lot of bad stuff that people know everybody knows this at this point and it looks very bad on her and then now you have this i mean johnny depp go now again say what you want by uh you know with him doesn't matter he goes to a children's hospital and he spends hours. remember around pirates five time he spends hours and hours and hours dressed as jack around a, a children's hospitals just playing as Jack Sparrow, okay? He went to Disney, uh, Disney World, Disneyland, I think Disney World, and he played as Jack in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride for hour, the whole day. So, like, what the, you know, like, okay, again, like, that's that's in the public. Maybe you could argue he's doing that for press, stuff like that. But I genuinely, and he was even on, I believe he was on, like, Graham Norton's show, and he said, like, how much he just enjoys it, and how he just, you know, he loves acting as Jack. He loves playing him, so, like, why not make people feel good in those kind of situations when he's doing it? So the point is, like, no matter what, no matter if he does it for press or not, he does these things. Amber steals money from these places. And that's, that is disgusting. And again, I laugh because, like, it's, it, it is sad because, like, you know, if she promised three and a half million, you would hope she would uphold that three and a half million thing. And she gives a hundred thousand. I mean, that's, that is pathetic. I mean, even, even like for us, that'd be like, oh, I'm going to pay you, I'm going to give a hundred dollar donation. And then you give like two bucks. It's like, well, that's, that's pathetic. You know what I mean? Like you didn't give anywhere near close to what you said. It's just bigger numbers. It's just bigger numbers. So I, you know, when it comes to Aquaman 2, again, I am not pro canceling. I'm not pro firing based off these things. In all reality, I kind of feel, well, in this situation, I feel like she should be fired only because you did it for Johnny Depp. And because you did it for one, I think it's fair. Although she didn't lose any court battles, she seemingly is a terrible person. She seemingly is doing some very bad stuff that's in the public. Again, like admitting these things on the tapes, I think people know it. The stuff she did to Johnny Depp, like the physical stuff she did, I think people know. And now you have this stuff, which is stealing from a children's hospital, which I think a, a lot of people are waking up to or, or, or like seeing because it's a it's a big story going around. And how do you really defend it, by the way? There's really, because you know, again, like the, the pro, really just everybody's anti-Johnny Depp like on the internet in terms of like the, the media. But how do you spin this? How, well, well, she'll, she said she was going to give all the money. She just hasn't yet. Well, it's been like several, it's been like three years. It's been several years since she promised this and she gave, a hundred thousand out of three and a half million so like is she doing it every five years like she, she's 34 like is she gonna have enough years in her life to give a hundred thousand every five years I, I don't think she will I think she'll be gone by then so you know what I mean like it's uh, like what how do you spin this in a positive way so all this stuff just makes her look really really bad and again you do this for Johnny I, I don't know how you don't do it for Amber. Now, again, normally, if you didn't fire Johnny Depp, which I don't think you should have, I would say no matter how much bad stuff Amber Heard does or Johnny Depp, you keep them and you let the public decide. Sure, there's court cases. Sure, there's winners and losers there. But unless they're going to jail, because remember, these are these are libel cases. Unless they're going to jail, nothing really, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's something that they... They both messed up. They both did bad things. Whatever. The public can judge. If you feel like you're disgusted by Johnny Depp's actions in their marriage, 
Don't go to see Pirates. Don't go to see uh, Fantastic Beasts 3. Show them with your money. And if you do, go. And then Warner Bros. can make the decision based off that. They can say, all right, look, it's not worth it. We're paying you this much. You're not drawing it in. It it's probably because of the court cases. We got like, at least there's a reasoning there. Whereas right now there isn't. Uh, and so, you know, again, like I say, just keep them and let, and again, even with like Amber Heard, if you don't care about this court case and you're like, I just want to see Aquaman 2, you go see it. If you want to make a point against Amber Heard, you don't go see Aquaman 2, but she should be in it and she should be in as much as they wanted her to be in it originally, right? Prove a point prove a point and that's not the so the thing is like that's what i would prefer i would prefer the kind of the public to just decide how these things go but sadly it's a case where it's uh you know they get to the decide first and then we kind of was like okay well now well now we're not going to go see pirates now we're going to not going to go see any of this stuff because like you've made the decision for us to remove giant Depp. and then for amber Heard, it's like okay well maybe you're going to lessen her screen time but she's still going to be in it and we know these things that she did so we're still not going to go see the movie you know what i mean so it's an interesting thing. Uh, there's no way I could let this children's... Ho I mean, I know this was big news, like, later last week. I know it took me a while, but I wanted to give it a go. I wanted to kind of laugh at it because it's just... That, that's, uh, that's a new level of funny, to be quite honest with you, that she did something like that. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Do you, uh, do you think she should be taken out of Aquaman 2? Do you think she should stay? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you guys want to follow my Twitter account, my Twitter profile, podcast now. 15 is my Twitter handle. Would love to have you guys over there. We're getting real close to 2,000 followers. Would love to hit that within the next month or so. Again, link for that is in the description below, and the name is Podcast Now 15. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.